Hello, this is Dennis Stalick, Director of Services at Merit Solutions. I'm going to spend the next couple minutes reviewing the Merit Solutions Auto Lot Format functionality that is part of the Advanced Lot Management module. The first thing that we're going to do is set up an Auto Lot Format. We are then going to apply that format to an item. And then we're going to look at a transaction example of how that auto-generated lot number is applied to that transaction. So to begin, I'm going to open the auto lot format entry window. We begin by assigning a name to our auto lot format. In this case, I'm going to do a format for a purchased item that I want to have some date attributes assigned to. So I'm going to call this a PO date format. Apply a description of your choosing. And then we can also check the preview button if we wish to see previews of the lot number that's going to be assigned in any particular transaction. Uh, and in this window, we can see as we're building out the lot number uh, format. I tab down, I'll go to the first item in the lot format, and I'm going to, in this case, choose a date part. So the first segment of my auto lot format is going to be a date part which is going to be a year part, which has four decimal places. In this case, I don't need to enter in a starting value or ending value. The date will automatically be recognized by the system, and the first date part being year will be entered into the system. I can then select my next segment, which I'm going to do another date part. In this case, I'm going to choose a month as a two digit. And again, I don't need to select a starting or ending value. The system will recognize the date and place the correct date in. The third segment of the part of the lot format, I am going to choose a number. And this number I'm going to make as four segments. And I'm going to have the system increment that number for each transaction that takes place, for each new lot. You can see above in the lot format mask, I now have year, month, and my four-digit numerical uh, increment indicator. Bottom part of the screen allows me to assign in what transaction types I wish to have this auto lot utilized in. PO receipts, MO creation, MO releases, MO receipts, sales returns, or inventory adjustments. For each one, I have the option of making the auto generated lot mandatory or optional, and or I can allow a manual override of that lot number in that transaction if the user so wishes. Once I'm done, I hit save and my auto lot format has been created. Next I move to applying that format to an item. So I open up the item maintenance card. In my case, I'm going to use an item number which is numbered A lot controlled item. I click on the options button. Then I go to the additional button and I press item auto lot assignments. In the auto lot assignments, I will assign the auto lot format. In this case, I'm going to use something called PO date, which is already assigned to this item. Save it. We'll accept that. And that 
lot format is now assigned to that item. So finally what I'm going to do is I'm going to go create a purchase order and receive that item in and we're going to see how the auto lot is created. So in this case I've created a purchase order for my A lot controlled item. I'm going to go immediately into receiving that item. And you can see that my generate auto lot number was automatically created with a year, uh, some text indicators, and an increment indicator for this example. I can select that. You'll see that my lot has been entered into, this, into the appropriate uh, part of the screen. I can now insert that lot. I have now then received that item. I can post that receipt and we'll now see that that lot has been entered into the system. Integrating in with advanced lot management, I can open up my lot attribute maintenance window. And if I go to the A lot controlled item, I can now see that the new lot has been entered into the system and it is in a quarantine status. To learn more about the advanced lot management solution, there is a video on this website that describes the advanced lot management disposition maintenance functions. In review, setting up automatically generated lot numbers for an item is as simple as setting up a lot format, applying that lot format to the item, and then assigning what transactions that format is going to take place in with that item. And then finally, upon doing the transaction, is noting and utilizing the auto lot generation system. If you have any questions, please contact Merit Solutions our phone number is 630-614-7133.